Now at noon, you're looking live at Cape Canaveral, where final preparations are being made for this afternoon's historic launch. We continue to count down to the 433 launch with four hours, 33 minutes to go. You can see the Falcon 9 rocket right there on the right on the launch pad. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Binken will be getting their sleek new suits on, their space suits on, in just a little bit. The two will become the first Americans to head back into space in nearly a decade. All right, here's our first look at the two men this morning. They walked outside to put stickers on, of course, their Teslas. They'll be riding to the launch pad in those vehicles. You can see astronaut Bob Bink in there sipping coffee as they did so. Now, one of the biggest questions about today's launch, obviously, is the weather. The crew is expected to get a weather briefing in just about 15 minutes. We'll have more from Richard in just a moment, but we do want to make sure that you're aware that Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry will be releasing more information about reopening public pools and city summer camps in about five minutes. As soon as his news conference starts, you can watch it live right here on Channel 4. Now back to our launch coverage. NASA astronauts Benkin and Hurley officially got their day started, as you saw, after a wake-up call that came at 9 a.m., followed by breakfast at 1130, a breakfast of their choice. Our News for Jacks team has you covered throughout this historic day. We've more information about the preparations before the launch and how you can watch the rocket blast off without even leaving your home, Tarek. That's right. Bruce Hamilton is live in Titusville. So, Bruce, you've been on the Space Coast since yesterday leading our coverage. Of course, everyone is talking about the weather. Our thunderstorms and even some lightning in the area right now. We've still got about four and a half hours till launch, so let's hope everything clears up. In the meantime, we know that the vice president and president are going to be here, got a schedule of their events. The second lady and vice president arrive at 1215. At 105, they'll greet the astronaut families. Now, they weren't supposed to be here, but apparently they've been in quarantine and they get to see their astronaut husbands hopefully take off this afternoon. 1.30ish, the president and first lady arrive here at Cape Canaveral. And at 3.20, the president, first lady, and Vice President Pence and Second Lady will join the SpaceX mission launch briefing. Take you out to the pad, Falcon 9 sitting there with the Crew Dragon atop. And uh, then at about 12.30, we hear that the astronauts are going to suit up. Speaking of the astronauts, a little earlier this morning, they got a chance to check out the Tesla that is going to take them all the way out to the pad. We understand that they put some stickers on there with the Demo 2 mission number on them. Quite a ride to take them out to the pad, huh? Again, the big concern happens to be the weather. Most of the storms that are moving in right now are from the Gulf. Hopefully, the thunderstorms and the showers will be out of the way, but this is Florida. It is a reality in Florida in the afternoon. The Air Force will give us a briefing at 1230. They can postpone this launch with just 45 seconds on the countdown clock. I know that SpaceX has every hope that they fly today. If they can't, the next window of opportunity is at 322 on Saturday. Then again, they could fly if they can't go on Saturday on Sunday at 3 o'clock.